Previously on Corn Wars. Truthfully, the most important thing is Mother Nature. I mean, you know, the two, three inch rains don't kill us. It's the four, five, six inch rains that really can wipe us out with the river bottoms. Right now, massive flooding is impacting southern Indiana. Water is swallowing streets, railroad tracks, vehicles, and buildings. We had 10 inches in eight hours. Water was probably three feet higher than our head right here, running across. And it did that for three days. Well, you should have seen the traffic when uh, I brought that cultivator, that big tractor down today. I bet there was 50 vehicles behind it. Grain farmers got to be the most stubborn people in the world <laughs> to do this year in, year out, go through the the misery of flooding and drought, uh, low grain prices, and do this every year. It's kind of a special breed of people. We started planting corn there uh, the first time, April 14th, and I think it was May or April 27th, 28th, we got bombarded with three day total of about 14 inch of rain and most of that come the first night. We had about 10, nine, 10 inches that first night in about, actually in about 10 hours. Fields were, were six feet, eight feet under with like 20 mile an hour water current going across it. So, I mean, there's just really surprising that in eight hours that everything could be totally devastated that quick. We got replanted, crop looking really, really good right now. Replanted May 15th, about a month later than I really wanted to be. Our tissue samples are really good. Got good color, growing good. Got some nice warm days coming up. Hitting on all cylinders right now. My whole corn crop probably looks as good as what it's ever looked. About all of our no-till beans got hit with the slugs this year. Yeah, slugs. I know it's hard to believe. It's actually the first time I've ever seen a slug problem in our area. We thought we were done a week ago, but guess what? Here we are replanting beans again. So I think total we replanted all but 30 acres of our crop this year, corn and beans. So everything has basically been replanted this year. So hopefully today will be the final day uh, of planning 2017. <laughs> we got a lake up above us, about four or five miles, Patoka Lake up there. Depending on how full it is, is how brave we get down into the river bottoms. So we've been done planting corn by the 25th of April, or been done with everything by the 25th of April. And we've been done by June 15th before. I told the wife, I said, well, why don't we just give up the um, that rent ground and tile some of our river bottoms every year, make them more productive and we can be closer at home and it's our own ground. So we always knew this ground was really good, but you know, the last time it was tiled was probably my grandpa and him did it 30, 40 years ago, old clay tile. So uh, we went out there tiled it, laid it on 25 foot centers. Uh, every year before this, prior to this year, it was our last planting ground because it just laid wet. 
We thought, well, heck, we'll just tile that and see how it goes. Now, ultimately, I think this is going to be our best ground. I'm pretty excited about it. It looks really good right now on the replant. Yeah, you can see that corn over there starting to roll up a little bit. Getting kind of dry around here. Uh, we got a stand, really good stand, even, probably as even as we've ever had. Um, our tissue samples are climbing, which is another good thing. So if Mother Nature can give us some timely rains, we should be doing pretty good for the corn wars. Coming for you, David. <laughs>
Well, you don't. <laughs> so, been pretty good in the, just like the yield contest, we've been pretty, doing pretty good in it. Hang on a second. Yeah. Fell completely off. Which one? Huh? Uh, can you fold up and finish it or not? Well, go ahead and, and uh, uh, run without it. We'll try to get gooms. We'll try to load it up on the truck. Oh, it's falling apart. Just trying to finish up. <laughs>